I'm Mark Krieger, immediate past president of the American Heart Association, and I'm with Dr. Frank Selke, who's from Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. We're both in Rome at the European Society of Cardiology Congress 2016, and uh, today there were two very interesting hotline sessions. Uh, one I want to talk to you about, Frank, is the one that had to do with coronary artery disease and stenting. There were three very interesting trials. Um, and they're each comparative outcome trials. Right. So the first of these was the, the Norstent trial. The Norstent trial involved over 9,000 patients uh, comparing uh, second generation or modern drug eluting stents versus contemporary bare metal stents. And surprisingly, there was very little difference in outcome up to six years. Now, there was a slight difference in target uh, vessel revascularization requirement. There was a 3% difference in favor of drug eluting stents, but otherwise, there was no difference in mortality, myocardial infarction, or quality of life. Uh, well, something else was notable there was a 10% uh, increase in mortality with drug eluting stents at six years. However, that did not reach statistical significance. Mark, you know, I find these uh, findings rather surprising. They were surprising. I don't think any of us really anticipated it. But uh, these are the results, and I think they're going to have important implications as how we move forward. I and mean, we're now talking about contemporary bare metal stents. That's right. Contemporary drug eluting stents. Now, the discussant uh, still recommended that we apply drug eluting stents to the majority of patients, but I don't really see how that follows from this particular trial. I guess we'll just have to repeat it and see if the results hold. So, there was another trial that compared bare metal stents to drug eluting stents, but uh, this one involved patients with saphenous vein disease. That's right. This was the Basket Savage trial. It was from uh, Bern, uh, uh, Switzerland. And as you mentioned, it involved uh, drug eluting stents uh, versus uh, bare metal stents and vein graft disease. In this study, however, drug eluting stents were significantly uh, superior to bare metal stents, and it wasn't even close. So there was a, a, a significant difference. And I'm not sure how I explain this, but uh, I think this is more uh, according to conventional wisdom. Right, and there's been other trials that have studied this as well. And now there a third comparative outcome trial. Now well, this wasn't comparing uh, two stents, but it was comparing two antithrombotic strategies, ticagrelor uh, versus prasugrel. Right. This was the Prague uh, 18 study, of course, from uh, Prague, Czech Republic. Uh, it involved patients uh, undergoing uh, stent placement for uh, STEMI and uh, using these two antiplatelet agents. Now I can attest to the fact that these are both very effective agents, having done surgery on patients uh, being on uh, both of them. Uh, in this study, there was no difference uh, in the efficacy or outcomes between the two uh, antiplatelet agents. Now the, the trial was stopped prematurely. The intention was to enroll over 2,500 patients. Uh, but it was stopped, and I, I don't recall exactly how many patients were enrolled. I don't think they actually uh, presented that, but um, you know, since these agents are all very effective, I'm really not surprised with the, the outcome. So, what's your opinion? On? Well, they're actually so the discussion raised several important concerns. And one of these was the fact that they didn't fully enroll, stopped the trial uh, early. They stopped it for lack of feasibility. And the discussion raised concerns that they really didn't have sufficient data to stop it because of lack of feasibility. But he argued that it may not have had sufficient statistical power to see a difference between the right. two drug treatment groups. The other issue was that the primary endpoint was at seven days. And that's pretty short. Right. So maybe the, uh, the outcome for today's presentation really didn't go out far enough. Right. Now the, the trial is continuing and there will be reported one year outcomes in about a year. And we'll see what happens at that time. So I, I think there were some sufficient concerns raised about this trial uh, that uh, that limited its uh, our ability to, to interpret the findings. Uh, but nonetheless, it was presented here today, and I think it was important to share. So a very interesting day here at, at ESC in Rome. It's been a terrific meeting, and uh, we're looking forward to more exciting presentations.